This is ANN News Brief. A Somali college teacher, son of a senior police officer, has been convicted of leading Al Shabaab operations in Mogadishu for many years. Mohammed Aji Ahmed was sentenced to death on New Year's Eve by Mogadishu military court. Prosecutors failed in their bid to file charges connecting Ahmad to last week's Mogadishu truck bombing that killed almost 200 persons. All they could get was conviction for being behind the killing of three generals, a police corporal and a deputy attorney general. Ahmed confessed to the courts that he was working as Al Shabaab's head of operations in Mogadishu. Six other Al Shabaab members also received the death penalty. Four of them were sentenced in absentia. An eighth Al Shabaab member got a life sentence. A woman who worked at the Somali women's headquarters backed a 15 year prison term for feeding Al Shabaab with information on the movements of government officials. An international peacekeeping official has reported on Wednesday more than 20 persons were killed after a camp bombing for international displaced persons were attacked in the Sudan's West Darfur. Spokesman for the Joint African Union United Nations Peacekeeping Mission in Darfur said Kindling Camp, located just east of state capital El Jenaina, was raided on Sunday and Monday after a dispute between Arab and African ethnic groups. Brooklyn lasting peace in Darfur and other parts of the Sudan is one of the biggest challenges facing military and civilian authorities sharing power after the overthrow of former President Omar al-Bashir last April. Conflict broke out in Darfur in 2003 after mostly Arab rebels rose up against Khartoum. At least 300,000 persons have been killed and 2.5 million displaced. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Guinea-Bissau's election authorities have declared Umaro M. Balo winner of the country's presidential election on Wednesday. He defeated Domingos Pereira of the majority picked party. There was general excitement in Bissau as cars honked and people waved the signature red and white scarf of the candidate on New Year's Day. And Balo won nearly 54% of the votes in Sunday's election, while Pereira got 46%. Bazaar people are hoping this election will bring an end to years of political crisis. And Balo and Pereira were both prime ministers during former president Jose Maria Vaz's five-year term. That is ANN News Brief. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website. ANN Africa News conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I am Olajumoke Olatunji.